Have you ever wondered what would happen if Avatar Aang fought the equalist leader Amon? After I take your bending away, you will be nothing. We've prepared a simulation to showcase this marquee matchup. This is Avatar Bender Battles. Avatar Aang, you all know the story. He's the last airbender who defeated Fire Lord Ozai and ended the Hundred Year War. And then there's Amon, the mysterious and fearless leader of an anti-bender group called the Equalists. Let's take a closer look at these two titans and break down how they might perform in an epic clash. You'll get your duel, and I will destroy you. First, we'll take a look at Amon. He's a man who claimed to have no bending abilities at all, yet brought Republic City to its knees. So how did Amon become so powerful? When we first met Amon, he demonstrated his ability to permanently take away a person's bending. This ability, known as energy bending, was only known to be possessed by one other person, Avatar Aang. He had used this power to take away Fire Lord Ozai's fire bending decades prior. During the revelation, Amon claimed the spirits blessed him with this ability. They believed that it was Amon's destiny to cleanse the world of benders. The revolution has begun! Of course, this was all a lie. Amon is secretly a waterbending master. Ever since he was a young child, Amon was skilled in traditional waterbending as well as the dark art of bloodbending. Throughout history, bloodbending was only possible during a full moon. However, Amon is able to bloodbend at any given time, with or without a full moon. That's the way it's done. It is rumored that this is how Amon can take away bending. He is not bending the energy in the body, but bending the blood to block chakras inside another person. Tell me everything you know about chakras. What are chakras? They are the seven points throughout the body where chi energy flows heavily. A person's chi energy is what allows that person to bend. When a person's chi is blocked, it can prevent him or her from bending. It is possible that Amon's blood bending can physically block the chakras for good. After I take your bending away, you will be nothing. As skilled as Amon is as a bloodbender, he only ever uses it in combat as a last resort. In order to keep his ability a secret, he needed to adapt to different styles of fighting. He became an expert in hand-to-hand -hand combat, as well as the art of chi blocking. Oh. Whenever Amon applies his combat to his waterbending skills, he's virtually unstoppable. <laughs> now, let's shift things over to Aang. How would he fare in a battle against Amon? Well, when Aang was an adult, he faced a man with abilities similar to Amon, his father. Yakon, the notorious Republic City crime lord passed down his abilities to Amon. What's the big idea? We have dozens of witnesses, Yakon. We know what you are. Take him away. Upon his arrest, Yakon tried to escape by bloodbending Aang. But Aang was able to overpower Yakon by entering the Avatar state and took away his bending forever. When Aang enters the Avatar state, he reaches a whole new level of power. In the Avatar state, Aang can generate tornado-style winds. Even a relatively moderate tornado can average between 85 and 110 miles per hour, with the strongest ones reaching well over 200, strong enough to level a building, or several. For Aang, the Avatar state will be key in taking down Amon, just like he did Yakon. Amon has several valuable resources that he can throw at Aang. He is always surrounded by loyal equalists who are expert fighters in their own right. Don't be surprised if they play a part in backing up Amon. Amon is quick and clever like Aang. He will play defense until he finds an opening. It's up to Aang to not let him get that opening. Let's not forget, Amon took away an Avatar's bending once before. He will not hesitate to repeat if given the opportunity. I told you I would destroy you. Now, enough talk. Let's send it over to Pro Bending Arena and Republic City. It's fight night in the Four Nations. Never before have we seen these two titans go toe to toe. And tonight, the fans are getting what they have been craving. From the Southern Air Temple, Avatar A. Go A! His challenger, your equalist leader, Amon. It is time for you to be equalized. I don't think so. A attacking first. The last airbender clearly recognizes the monolithic threat of Amon. Amon moving at lightning speeds. Uh, could he be bloodbending himself for gain speed? Uh, uh, uh. 
And here it is, Amon's trump card, halting Aang in his tracks as if the Avatar were a mere puppet. What's this? Amon's goon jumping in with a stun baton. Several thousand volts of electricity further jeopardizing the Avatar. Critical moment here. Could this be the end of the last airbender? After I take your bending away, you will be nothing. Folks, this is it! The Avatar State! Aang's oh. Avatar State is absolutely unparalleled! <sighs> Winner! Avatar Aang! Well, there you have it. Amon received a little help from his trusted lieutenant. It may have been closer than Aang would have liked. Regardless, the Avatar always comes out on top. This first round goes to Avatar Aang. That's all the time we have for today. Tune in next time for an all-new Avatar Bender Battles.